I'm not a famous surgeon and I earn my daily bread by studying cadavers which are bodies not long dead. One day two suave young gentlemen appeared within my view. I'm Mr. Bird. I'm Mr. Hare. How do you do? These gents explained that their acquaintance had just passed away. It seemed the body had only been a goner for a day. Excuse the curious offer, said Hare, or was it Buck? But would you care to slice this up to see how corpses work? Well, it's always a palaver, getting hold of a cadaver. So I said, yes, I'll have her. Ooh, it's a he. This body taught me much about what makes a person poorly. Why some men live to 99 and some die prematurely. How these parts function perfectly while others won't repair. How everything is interlinked. <laughs> What's that doing there? Till one day there was nothing left and all my work was spent. Then Burke and Hare turned up again. My, how convenient! Another slab of fresh human organ bones and flesh. Another gory sesh. <laughs> Excellent views. <laughs> As time went on, these kind men brought me several guys and gals. My lab was chock-a-block with all their freshly passed on pals. I paid them lots of money. Bodies came from everywhere. You really are a busy Mr. Burke. And Mr. Hare. They seem such cultured gentlemen. I never did suspect that Burke and Hare were not so nice. I really should have checked. Then one day a policeman came, asked if I'd seen a chap. I hadn't, but days later his corpse turned up in my lap. It seemed that these acquaintances of Burke and Hare actually were not their friends, and many did not always die naturally. Burke and Hare had murdered them. It was plain to see. Then brought the corpses to my lab and pocketed the fee. The two men were arrested, but one of them set free. Poor Burke was hanged, but happily his corpse was sent to me. Bit whiffy. Still, much to learn. <laughs>